Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about rib mobility. So in the third trimester, as baby grows bigger and our organs get pushed further and further up, we are left with less space around the rib cage area. This can not only cause shortness of breath, but also um, it may be pain around the ribs. And this is why it's important to keep this area as mobile as possible. The growing of belly is also a reason why our ribs not only get pushed up, but out. And this is maybe why you're going up a graph size. And keeping this area moving is going to help in the postpartum period, period with bringing the ribs back into their um, pre-pregnancy size. So I'm going to show you three exercises that you can do to keep this area moving as best as you can. And we're going to work the front, the side, and the back of the rib cage. So for the front, we're going to start with manual uh, mobilization of the soft tissue that's surrounding the ribs. So you can literally go feel where the bottom of your rib cage is, and then from there. You just want to grab the skin that's sitting just on top and gently pull it out away from the rib cage area. You can also pull it up and down a little bit. Just mobilize that soft tissue. It shouldn't hurt, but you should feel a little bit of a pull. And you move along the rib cage area, doing the same thing and taking deep breaths. Maybe you find a spot that is very tight, so you decide to stay there a little bit longer. But yes, it's this simple, but we work the front of the rib cage. Of course, we do it on both sides. Again, go find it, sometimes it's hard to think of anyone how far you are. And we pull it away, pull the skin away from the rib cage and then maybe up and down a little bit. Okay, that's it for the first exercise. You might want to do this um, in a different position, maybe you're laying down, whatever feels easiest. Now for this side, we're going to get into a cross-legged position. And here, very simple. You're going to reach up on one side and then reach over until you feel a nice pull into your side. And here, we're going to take deep breaths. So really focus on breathing into that rib cage so it's quite a high breath and into the side. So deep breath. And long exhale, and we try to increase that stretch. So again, very simple, you're just breathing into your side. Let's move on to the other side. Really focus on breathing into that rib cage. You can use a band if you don't need it. It's just for uh, tactile feedback, so you might find it useful. We're gonna get on all fours. You can place the band really around the rib cage or the back part of the rib cage. And then we get into an all fours position. And from here, we want to mobilize again the back part. So take a deep breath. 
into the back and at the same time we want to round through the shoulder a bit so deep breath in nice and round and on the exhale return to neutral so again big inhale as I round through the back and exhale release So you can do this exercise in back position or you can even do it from a sitting position and here same concept arms straight out in front of us and we're going to inhale into the back rounding to the upper back and release These are three exercises that help you keep your ribs moving during pregnancy. And once you get to the postpartum period and want to bring the ribs back in, make sure to check out my content on rib flaring. And I'll see you in the next one.